Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this special New Year's Eve episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit that like button as well. Give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate the support. And I promise this is the last time I'm going to say that for this year. So that's it. I'm not saying that ever again in 2021. Now, 2022, well, that's a different story. But this is it. This is the New Year's celebration. 21, 2021, 2021 is coming to an end. And we're going to go out in style and party it up and rock on. But what are we tasting on this episode? Well, I think I found a pretty good beer to help anyone who has one too many cocktails or one too many craft beers on New Year's Eve and has, what do we call it? The New Year's Day hangover. So the beer we're tasting, well, this is from New Belgium Brewing in Fort Collins, Colorado, and this is perfect. This is their Dominga Mimosa Sour. So Dominga, I mean, that's a play on the Spanish word for Sunday, so that fits right there. Sunday brunch, mimosas, or bottomless mimosas, if you're lucky. Uh, so mimosa, it's a mimosa-style beer. So if you're having brunch on New Year's Day, or you need a hair of the dog to kill that hangover, start drinking these. But anyways, this beer clocks in at 6% ABV. So right in the middle. Not too high, not too low, so it should help. But in any event, I'm going to get the party train started. We're going to do this. It's New Year's Eve in a couple days, but let's crack this mimosa sour open and let's see what we got. Here we go. One, two, boom, boom. Rock and roll, the end of 2021. Uh, hmm. No smoke out of the can, no smoke. And we have our pseudo champagne flute or mimosa style flute here. So let's give this a pour and let's get the fun started. Here we go. Well, number one, super, super straw-like, light, light, Sunset gold here. Yeah, we got a sun, sunny gold color, very light. Um, and about a half finger fail of pure white foamy carbonation on top. So we're off to a good start already. Almost you know, looking like a yellow mimosa. Orange mimosa. So that should be orange and you know, orange juice. But either way, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to give this a swirl and give it a nose. Here we go. New Year's Eve, baby. <laughs> Whoa. Well, they might be on to something here. Very interesting. <laughs> so what do we have? Aroma-wise, we have, well, orange juice. And it's not like orange peel. It's not like orange pith. It is citrusy, but it is orange juice. Yes, it is orange juice. Wow. But there is also, there is a little bit of orange zest coming through. Um, as a slight, slight bit of sour coming through. But they're also really interesting. There's also a, uh, a minerality-like quality coming through, reminiscent of champagne and or sparkling wine, which is really kind of cool. But let's give this one more swirl, and uh, let's give this a taste. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I said, if we... Well, I'm not going to have a hangover on uh, New Year's Day. I know that, but hopefully this will help if you do. But we're going to find out right now. Here we go. One, two, three. Prost! Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so right off the bat, well, does it taste like a mimosa? Well, yes and no, because technically, you know, remember this is a beer. It's not a mimosa. It's a mimosa style, but um, it is super light bodied, super refreshing. Take one more sip here. And it does have, it definitely does have some mimosa-like qualities to it. Now, for starters, yes, we are getting some of that orange juice. We are getting some of that orange zest. Those citrus notes are coming through, you know, so we're off to a good start, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, I said it's very light and we get in the orange juice, but it's also, I mean, it's a little too sour. I mean, there is some, it's not extremely sour but it is just sour enough where it's like and i understand it is a sour beer but it's just sour enough to kind of distract from that mimosa like quality uh but let me give this one more sip here but once again really interesting enough some of those mineral notes and that minerality is kind of coming through 
which has given it that you know reminiscence of a champagne or a sparkling wine like quality. Um, so I, I mean, it's very very good in that respect. Uh, and one more note, I do want to add, it is, I mean, it's acidic. I'm not going to say this is this is a, a really acidic beer, um, but you know what? It's New Year's Eve. I'm giving it one more sip. Why not? I mean, I may finish it after, but hmm, let's give it one more sip now. Yeah, uh, it is acidic. But, I mean, in general, though, I mean, this is kind of a unique concept. Really interesting beer here, or beer slash mimosa, however you want to say it, but it is a beer. Um, but, like I said, there are some good things about it, and I think some negatives, too. But what would I rate this? I mean, I'm going to give this, because hmm, I do like the uniqueness of it, and I do like the idea. But I am, I'm going to give this a 7.5. Uh, I, that, I think that's pretty fair, because, like I said... There are some qualities that are definitely reminiscent of a mimosa. I mean, which are great. The minerality is superb. I mean, I think that's really hitting the mark. Um, however, and I said, I know this is a sour beer, but the sour qualities are kind of distracting it and taking it away from that, uh, you know, mimosa-like uh, quality. But either way, seven and a half, I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take one more sip. I said... Because maybe we'll just carry the party the rest of the, you know, the rest of the week and the rest of the time just party straight through for, nah, nah I can't do that. I said New Year's Eve is a couple days away, but eh, some things I should probably get done. But in any event, I'm going to take one more sip here. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this wacky, crazy New Year's Eve episode. But I do want to say everyone should go buy this. Good hair of the dog, good uh, hangover beer for New Year's Day. But thank you for tuning in. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubshaveapintin.com or at the blog, www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com. And I say, I mean, I'm ready to go. I'm all dressed up. I got my bow tie. I'm ready to party and rock on and say goodbye to 2020, 2020, 2021 and welcome in 2022. But on that note, I want everyone to have a very safe and happy New Year's Eve celebration wherever you are. Do it with fun, have a lot of fun, but also do it safe. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this up, and I'm rambling. And as always, the last time for 2021, you know the drill. Raise a pint, or a champagne flute in this sentence, uh, in this episode. Raise a pint. Cheers. Prost. Happy New Year. Have a great one. Bye, 2021. Welcome, 2022. We'll see you all next year. Enjoy. Enjoy.